Hi, I'm Brian from TheEpicenter.com. I'm here today to show you a brand new product made in America. This is a folding stove that can use any kind of fuel source that you have. Uh, scrap wood, uh, pine cones, um, briquettes, things like that. It can also use uh, gel fuel in a can and uh, this folds up into a very compact size. Uh, it weighs about two pounds. It uh, sets up really easy. There are a couple of pieces up here on the top. You just pull these out and then you unfold this like a book. Okay. Now, if you go a little bit further, this piece is going to automatically come off. Now, that's the ash catcher that goes on the bottom, and we'll show you that in a minute. The stove itself opens up and takes its uh, final form. This piece in the back is actually the bottom, and it just slides right down into position. Now, there's also a flap right here, and that functions as a windshield if you need it. If you don't, you just fold it down. The ash catcher can be used for several things. First, as an ash catcher, it installs in the back. And it can also be used up here. Now, if you're not actually building a fire inside of this box and you're going to use something like a, uh, a, a fuel tablet, like Triox fuel, you could put your tablets up on top of this and be able to put your pot or uh, cooking device up here on top. It can also fit up here. Now these pieces can be used for several functions. First off, they fit in notches that are cut in several locations. So if you had a canteen, you could set it right there. Uh, it also goes up here on the top, uh, and there are slots for those as well. Uh, and that works out really well if you have something like this that you want to put on the very top. Uh, now, I want to point out that the flame from the firebox actually exits here, and it exits in the back. Uh, if, if you have a wind situation and you need a wind shield, you can flip this back piece up. Now they can also be used if you're using some kind of a gel fuel like this um, as the support for the can. So uh, these are available in, in a bunch of different sizes and there are slots that are cut in the firebox itself where you can insert these rods. Now these rods then become the support for um, the fuel that's in the can. And you can adjust this up and down on this side, and you can also adjust it up and down on the other side. Now these are offset by half an inch compared to the front, uh, so it gives you a half inch increments of being able to adjust your fuel uh, so, that the, um, so that the flame hits the ideal spot. Okay, now these can also be used to pick up the firebox stove while it's got fire in it. You can actually pick this up and move it around with these pieces, which is pretty handy. And there are, there are also slots in the ash catcher right here on both sides. So if you need to slide this out for any reason, you can also do that. Okay, we've got the firebox stove all fired up. And uh, we're going to put the pan charger on here. Um, now this is a fire-powered USB generator, okay, and uh, this is a brand new product. It uh, comes from Japan. It's called Hatsuden Nabe. We've done an entire video that uh, shows how this works. Uh, you'll want to check that out on our YouTube channel. And by the way, if you're not already a subscriber to our YouTube channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and you'll get notices when we put out new videos. Now, we're going to be uh, putting the the pan charger on top of the firebox stove. Now we've made a special adapter uh, because the bottom of the um, pan charger is a little bit irregular. Um, this is made in America as well. It's made out of stainless steel. It just goes right on top of the firebox. It also has slots just like the firebox so you can remove this um, while it's hot with the rods that we showed you earlier. Now the pan charger just goes right in the center of that and the heat shield can be used uh, just like always, like that. That protects the handle. But I want to point out that no fire actually comes out of this side from the firebox stove. It doesn't come out of here. It doesn't come out of here. It only comes out from the front and from this back area. So generally speaking, you, you probably won't need this heat shield in here at all. If you feel the handle 
and it's got any kind of warmth, then we would recommend that you put that there. We're not going to do that for demonstration purposes. Now, uh, the pan charger has uh, some LEDs, and uh, these indicate when there's 5 volts available, and the second LED indicates when maximum power is available. So we're just going to let this sit for a while, and as soon as we've got maximum power, then we're going to hook up a Samsung uh, droid type uh, phone to this, and we're going to charge that up. Now, I want to point this out. We already put water in the pan, and you have to put water in this pan uh, because that's the coolant for the firepower generator. So we've already put about a third of the amount of water in here, and we'll be adding water later, but I just want to point that out uh, and be sure to watch the other video. Now, another thing about this adapter plate is, uh, obviously, you pull that off, and you can put more fuel right in there. Okay. Now, you see that the first light is very bright. That means that we have 5 volts power. Uh, the second light is now coming up, and it's getting to be about the same brightness. This means we're at maximum power, and uh, that means that we don't need to add more fuel. We're ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and hook up this phone. What we have here is a Samsung, and uh, the battery is very low on this. So we're going to go ahead and plug this in. and. Here we go. This is the output from the pan charger. And that'll take a minute for the phone to come up. And there you have it. It shows how low the battery is, and it also shows that it's charging. Okay, that's the Firebox stove uh, in use with the Hatsuden Nabe fire-powered USB charging pan. And I want to make it clear, the, uh, the pan itself is a separate item, and the firebox stove, we're selling that separately. And we also sell this adapter if you want to use this with the firebox stove. Made in America, firebox stove made in America. And I wanted to show you again, the firebox stove can be picked up while the flame is active, which is pretty handy, so you can move this around. All right, that's it, the firebox stove. For theepicenter.com, I'm Epicenter Brian, signing out.